Hello everyone, this is Jack Frost with your daily update for Ethereum, Technicals and Solana. Today we are updating the weekly chart and on the weekly chart for Ethereum price has declined with these last three strong bearish candlesticks moving below support now resistance at 2800. Volume is overall supporting upwards movement for the short term with strongest volume on the bullish candlesticks though there is some strength in recent bearish candlesticks seeing some strength for downwards movement at this time frame. On balance volume has broken out of support at this previous range giving a weak bearish signal this is only a weak signal as the support range was not very long held only had the minimum to test and quite a noticeable slope though it does still give a bearish signal supporting downwards movement at this time frame. ATR overall has increased along with price declining as price has consolidated and moved down for the short to mid term and as ADX declines for Ethereum at this time frame we use the model of stochastics and support and resistance though at this point we use that model on the daily time frame for short term price fluctuations at this point stochastics is neutral and declining getting a little bit close to oversold on the weekly time frame at the daily time frame price has declined after finding resistance around 3680 and up to 3890 declining past resistance at 3200 and now finding support around 2400 Volume supports downwards movement with strongest volume on the bearish candlesticks and a very strong push on this most recent bearish candlestick. ADX increases at this time frame with a bearish trend that is not extreme and not yet in danger of ending. On balance volume having previously broken below this support line giving a bearish signal which was then followed by some further downwards movement. RSI oversold at this point currently exhibiting no divergence. Money flow neutral at this last low having just failed to enter oversold. Additionally, money flow does not exhibit any divergence either. ATR steadily increasing at this time frame as price declines, giving a bearish outlook for volatility for the short term. And as this trend indicated by ADX is not yet extreme and not yet in danger of ending, it expects price to continue lower to where ADX may reach extreme or very extreme conditions. RSI may enter more deeply oversold while money flow may enter oversold itself and both of them may exhibit some divergence. On the Solana weekly chart primary wave 4 is labelled complete at this last low just here having moved from its previous low where it was labelled complete previously. Price is now expected to increase for primary wave 5 and the end of cycle wave 3. Though if primary wave 4 does continue any lower it cannot move into primary wave 1 price territory at 26.4105. Additionally primary wave 4 has found support at the lower edge of this Elliott channel, the Elliott channel drawn using Elliott's first technique from the end of primary wave 1 to the end of primary wave 3 with a copy on the end of primary wave 2. With price now expected to increase for primary wave 5 and cycle wave 3, cycle wave 3 has a target calculated at 2887 which is the 11.09 extreme Fibonacci ratio of cycle wave 1. This low with the end of primary wave 4 on the weekly chart is this low on the daily chart. On this main daily chart for Solana this wave count has been altered from the previous video. The previous video seeing primary wave 4 labeled complete at this last low here. Though with this recent downwards movement primary wave 4 is labeled complete at this low subdividing as a complete double zigzag. Bullish movement now expected to continue upwards for primary wave 5 and cycle wave 3, though as primary wave 4 has moved lower it failed to find support at the lower edge of this Elliott channel. The Elliott channel drawn from the beginning of intermediate wave W to the end of intermediate wave X with a copy on the end of intermediate wave W. If price does continue any lower then primary wave 4 may find support at the lower edge of this channel. With upwards movement now expected to increase for primary wave 5 and cycle wave 3, a break above this Elliott channel with a full green candlestick above and not touching would add confidence to this wave count seeing upwards movement to overall continue for the short to mid term at this point. This daily alternate seeing primary wave 4 incomplete with the same subdivisions though it expects intermediate wave Y and within that minor wave C to move lower. The same Elliott channel drawn around the intermediate degree movements expecting price to find resistance at the upper edge for minuet wave 2 within minute wave 1 of minor wave C. A target range is calculated for minor and intermediate degree movements between 84 and 95. 84.7439 is the target for intermediate wave Y which is the 1.618 Fibonacci ratio of intermediate wave W. And above that 95.3167 is the target for minor wave C which is the 1.618 Fibonacci ratio of minor wave A. This gives a vague idea for where these waves may be labeled complete. On the technical weekly chart price has moved overall sideways after finding resistance at 210 at its last high for the very short term finding resistance at 190 and now declining with a strong bearish candlestick. Volume is overall supporting upwards movement at this time frame with the strongest volume on the bullish candlesticks though there is a push on some of these bearish candlesticks seeing a little bit of strength for downwards movement. 
on balance volume currently has no new range though it does have this support line as price moves lower it may find support if it bounces off this support line and moves away it will give a bullish signal though if it breaks below this support line it will give a bearish signal ATR steadily increasing with price and declining as price consolidates and moves lower for the short term seeing an overall bullish outlook for volatility Stochastics neutral and increasing and as ADX declines at this time frame for Solana we use the model of stochastics and support and resistance though at this time frame we use the daily chart for short term price fluctuations. On the technical daily chart for Solana we can see a little bit more detail for prices decline after finding resistance at 190 with this bearish engulfing pattern just here. Volume overall supporting upwards movement with strongest volume on the bullish candlestick so there is some strength on these bearish candlesticks seeing some strength for downwards movement for the short to mid term. On balance volume has broken below this support line giving a bearish signal which was then followed by a decline in price. ADX increasing at this time frame with a bearish trend that is not extreme and not yet in danger of ending. RSI neutral. Money flow also neutral. Neither RSI or money flow exhibit divergence and both have some room to move before they may enter overbought or oversold. ATR steadily increasing as price consolidates and declines for the short term. A steep increase in ATR for the very short term as price declines with the strong bearish candlesticks that you saw previously gives a bearish outlook for volatility at this time frame. And as ADX continues to increase with this bearish trend that is not extreme and not yet in danger of ending it suggests price to move lower to where ADX may reach extreme or very extreme conditions, RSI and money flow may enter oversold and or exhibit divergence. That's all for me with your daily update for Solana and the Ethereum technicals as always if you want the Ethereum Elliott Wave count we have done an update for that today at pureelliottwave.com. You can sign up for that using the link in the description below. Thank you and I hope everyone has a good day.